Hello, I am Master Abatman. I have returned. <laughs> Thank you so much for a hundred subs. I actually can't believe it. <laughs> Someone likes my content? Oh my god. But yeah, it happened. I have 100 subs now. And I'm actually pretty proud of it. <laughs> I'm so tired. But yeah, hello everyone. I don't know if it, it'll go lower or higher. I hope not. But I mean, I hope not it won't go lower. <laughs> it will get higher. But yeah, thank you so much for 100 subs. Um, and as a gift to my audience, I would like you to know about me. So yeah, let's start. Um, I was born in Quezon City. Yeah, Philippines. Yeah, I know. All right, immediately that makes sense why you're you're an English speaker. Locking the door. You're an English speaker, right? Because I grew up in Manila, in Quezon City. Wow. Ooh, amazing. And growing up, I became essentially... Well, I grew up in, not in Quezon City actually, that's the thing, my mother was Manila New, my father is, um, he's a uh, Ilocano from the, the Baguio City, <laughs> he's a Baguio not, I don't know if that's the right term, I don't know, but yeah, I was transferred without the consent of a certain person to Baguio and then I was I, I basically did did some hopping around just you know I, I can't tell why I can't tell why but yeah I hopped around from Baguio to Manila throughout the whole of my life but eventually I ended up here in Baguio the, essentially the equivalent of well, London, not London. Basically, it's one of the rainiest places in the Philippines. It, all, it constantly rains, especially in the cold seasons and the rainy seasons. It always rains. Right now, there's a typhoon. And Baguio is usually the one that gets hit by it. It's actually really mean that we have to go to school even though there's probably a signal number something, you know. Um, I grew up with very mean <laughs> let's just call them mean uh, a family they're not that mean now because we've formed some boundaries but when I was younger they were pretty mean <laughs> I was not very happy I was not a very happy child I would always get into their fights with them because they didn't understand me the reason why is because they didn't know apparently I had uh, a problem a problem that's been confirmed by my uh, aunt who's a psychiatrist and that problem being is that I am I act differently from other people and because of that they didn't know they treated me like s how they raised their own kids you know that they did not make me happy because I wasn't I wasn't considered a normal kid. Uh, at least with other people. I, I'm a normal kid. I'm a normal person. But it's just that I wasn't treated as normal because I didn't act normal. I was different. They didn't know. They didn't know to be fair. So I can't count that as neglect or abuse because it's just how our culture works. That's how they treat the kids. That's how I was treated, and I can't I can't hold them accountable for that because they didn't know. But what's really unfair is that when my brother, my younger brother, regressed in his studies and his learning, they found out about what it was. And what's really unfair is that my brother got the treatment I did not, and I didn't get the treatment for that growing up. And hence all of my videos about bullying and 
why I was so weird and why I still act weird to this day, it's because I'm just different and I don't like that. No one likes that. And I wasn't medicated or terrified for it. I was eventually terrified. They found out that something was clearly wrong with me, but it was already 7th grade. I was almost far too gone at that point. I, I, I would... I would have delusions, I would hallucinate the voices. I think these gold bars speak to me. But, yeah. That's me. I grew up learning I have problems as well. I, I do have probably learning problems. I was just a smart kid then, that's why they didn't notice. I was also a very intelligent kid. I was an honor student, but that's probably just the savant. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure what I have. My spectrum was never, you know, and I'm not legally, you know, because it's not that they're embarrassed. They're like, it's complicated. It's really complicated. Basically, they can't diagnose me unless... Let's just say there's a lot of paperwork. <laughs> a lot of paperwork. And the school will... There's a chance I will be removed from the school. From my own school. I don't know if I should tell you this, but... Uh, yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. It's just who I am. And according to... Uh, my, my family members there's a ch because of how corrupt Philippine society is and how religious institutions have a high standard I could be removed for no particular reason except for that I'm not sure if that's true though but when they told me that I was really afraid of coming out with this problem I have. Like, I'm still afraid of tell saying it. <laughs> and I'm very sorry that if, if I worry you. Yeah. Philippine society sucks, dude. I hate it. I went to Palsai. Why did I go to Palsai? I was technically forced into law by my father. I don't like law. I w like writing. I like making stories. But that talent wasn't mm, created, uh, built, forged. It wasn't. We all focused on law. They really wanted me to be a lawyer, which I hated. I hated that. At some point, my my father even made me cry. At my own graduation party just because I chose Humes. We're good now with my father. I'm really good now with my father. But growing up, we have to know that we have our own choices. Whether they be bad or good. Those choices he gave me made me unhappy. Sure, he's only trying to save my future. Counting with what the Philippines has. What the Philippines is essentially a country who underpays everyone except lawyers and doctors. And here I am being forced to be a lawyer just to be happy. I don't want to be a lawyer. I'm not happy as a lawyer. He wants me to be happy. That's, that doesn't make me happy. It pisses me off that, that was before I'm, I'm good with him now but you have to understand you have to understand that I understand my standard of living will not be the same in the future I've already come to terms with that but I hate it I hate it I just hate I absolutely hate what the Philippines is right now it just made me hate it more. It didn't make me love my work. 
my future work. It just made me hate it. It just made me hate the system. I might even go to another country just so that I could survive, have a good living, you know? This country really upsets me. I'm so disappointed with uh, how politics works. All politicians, not all, but most, they're catropas, right? They're buddy buddies with each other. It really is a flawed system. And I'm forced to write about that. He essentially didn't create a lawyer, he created a weapon. I mean, I'm not a weapon yet, but I could be. I'm just filled with so much anger. And I'm not a narcissist or anything. I'm just like, I'm just so upset. I hate it. And I want to do something about it. And I know I, I'll eventually be deemed a problem of society or maybe a bad guy just because of what I'm writing. I'm not writing anything wrong. I'm just criticizing what the problems of society is because of my whole life because of what happened to me and I hate it I hate it I hate what happened to me all the heartbreaks all the familial ties broken for what I don't know man just so I can be a lawyer so I can like work for them take care of them in the future that's fair i'm a filipino i'm asian to take care of my family but they never believed in me huh i'm the only person who believes in himself maybe you guys don't even believe in me but that's okay all that matters is i believe i believe i will save the philippines somehow should call it a delusion of salvation call it a, a savior delusions but i really want to work on this just writing just writing okay i want to write against the system the problems of the system it sounds like it doesn't make sense it sounds like it's crazy i might be crazy Trying something over and over again, the same thing over and over again, that's insanity. But try it differently, maybe it would work, you know. It worked for some people, but they were deep problems by society. They were, they, when, even though they won Nobel Prizes or they were, they were considered martyrs, they were killed, probably. Because... That's how society works. That's just the Philippines, guys. They're the Pharisees. I'm the martyr. You're the martyr as well. You know. This is a hundred sub special. It's not really... It doesn't mean anything. I'm just ranting at this point about how problematic our society is. And why I became a political writer. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I'm disgusted with it. I could be a lawyer. I could be. But I don't want to. That's not who I am. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very upset with what had happened to me this past year thank you